But so for the most part, HR will be affected. I think so for now. But I don't know if you guys, the last video that I did, which I posted yesterday where I was talking about, um, what was I talking about? <laughs> Something about the layoffs, you feel me? Um, but they were saying, yeah, like, oh, the reason why they lost a trillion dollars while they dropped like a trillion or something like that was due to the economic situation and downturn that we're in as a country. So if we continue in that same way, I think we're going to continue to see the same results, which is what? Job loss, right? If they continue to lose money because the economic situation continues to go the same way, I think we're going to continue to see the same results as in layoffs right now. I mean, they can only cut so much of HR and of corporate dirt. I think they're going to have to get to a point where the facilities will get hit. You feel me? Maybe the um, salaries will get hit first because like I've always said, at the end of the day, we need people packing the boxes, but do we need everyone? Does everyone have to be on the schedule? Like I, um, I think I did say on that video, you know, some people will go on call. I don't know, but I believe we will see the warehouse get affected this year. That's just my opinion. I hope I'm wrong. I don't want to see that. But just seeing the direction everything is going in, I think that's a high probability that that could happen. That's just my opinion, though. Do you think we would see layoffs um, at the Amazon warehouse level? I definitely think it's coming. It's coming because, like I said, them orders is not coming the way they thought it was going to come. And then on top of that, you know how we got those raises. So now they looking for any reason to get you up out of there. Because usually when they brought new hires in, they would be like 15 to 20 deep. Now I see right. them, it's like six, seven, <laughs> eight people. It ain't that many people coming in there. And like, because you usually see that recruitment door, it'd be a whole army line full of people. Right. It's not like that no more at all. Gosh. So, And then I'm telling people, if you see people at that recruitment door, that's not good. That's your replacement. That we don't right. need no help right now. And then, you know, people can't fill, follow the simple rules, them safety shoes, the yeah. earphones, the phones. I'm like, y'all just making it easier for them to sweep y'all out. Like, because I, I always tell people after peak, that's when they accept all the nonsense you do. But the right. second that it's over, that's when they get you up out of there. This is our opinion. <laughs> this is our opinion. You feel me? This is that's just what from his telling you what I'm witnessing. I'm telling you what I witnessed. You feel me? <laughs> um, I'm telling you what I see. Y'all, listen to this man. Trust me. Now's not the time to be to be playing with them headphones, to be on your phone. Mm. Before, and this was my opinion. I think before, if I think there is a possibility, it could. I can't, I can't say it. Like, I don't think they would declare a layoff with workers. I was saying more so, I think it would get to like, you know, um, MTO, mandatory time off or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't, I don't rule it out. I think it's possible. Um, so I think for right now, especially with the way this quarter has been starting off, y'all should definitely um, take that in consideration because I don't think now's the time to be playing with your job. Cause No, it's not. It's um, it, it, it's it's going to be a whole lot going on. With said, so they don't have to do layoffs in the warehouse. Too many people get fired on a daily basis due to points. Normal attrition will decrease numbers. <laughs> now that's something that I've heard a lot, and this but is my thing. Not lying. But okay, well, here's my point of view, and give me your opinion on this. I think it's going to get to the point where these layoffs are going to continue to happen, and there people are not going to be quitting their jobs like that because they see so many companies are laying off. They see that it's a scarcity in the market that they are going to appreciate Amazon. Do you think that, Zell? Do you think that's what you think? Yeah, I think that because, you know, some people are like me. Some people don't like going shopping and stuff like that. Especially, we got to think about, are they going to do that to the drivers? Somebody got to drop it off. Somebody got to drop it. So they will start appreciating that after a while and start probably caring more about the workers that's really putting in that work. You know, because it's multiple reasons that people will quit that job. Is because they under a lot of stress. You know, you got lazy people that you got to pick up they slack. And it's like, our check is the same. I'm, I'm in here exhausted. I'm doing more than that. But, um, yeah, they get knocked off with these points, safety issues and stuff like that. But, but for what I've seen, it just getting stricter and stricter about, you know, dress code. Them, them, them shoes. Them shoes is like the biggest thing in my business. Them dudes, they want to wear them Jordans. Right. They're not, they, they not trying to wear them steel toe shoes. 
so I think that's I think that's what we'll see more so of. Um, I think we'll see more of cracking down before. I think layoff will be like the last thing we see. Um, that's just in my opinion, but I'm not ruling it out. I don't think they would do mass layoffs. You know what I mean? Because they it's so much they can fire. It seems like there's so many rules in place that they don't need to because they'll find something to get you. But C11, um, this is something I asked earlier. I know you've seen the news with layoffs and all this crazy stuff going on with Amazon Warehouse. Do you think we would see layoffs at the warehouse level? What is your opinion on that? That's, man, that's, it's hard to say. I, I really, obviously, I really hope, like, hope not. But if it gets if it gets really bad, it's a possibility. It's I don't think like in my entire time working here, I don't think it's ever been done. Um, we've had points where they've laid off white badges, but that's I mean they they are hired on as seasonal employees, so it, it makes sense. But for blue badges, I'm not sure. Like like I said, it's definitely possible. I just I really hope not. But I, it, it's possible though. And so one of the things, um, the response that we heard from that, and this is the comment that we had right before um, when you when you went to go off screen real quick, they were saying, and this is something I've heard a lot, we'll never see layoffs due to the fact, you know, Amazon's turnover is so high, boom, boom, boom. But this is my response, and then I would like to hear your thoughts on this. I think we are going to get to a point where people will be holding on to their jobs. Yes, even Amazon, because I think we're going to continue to see these layoffs announced. And I think people will change their, um, their their perspective on them keeping their job. Overall, what I'm saying, I think Amazon's turnover might slow down, um, in my opinion, due to people seeing how many jobs are lost in the market. What do you think about that? Nah, I, I, I 100% agree with you. It's like right now, like the job market, if you try to find a job, whether you have a good college degree, like any of that, like if you are qualified for a job, it is still really difficult to find a job anywhere right now. Like the job market right now sucks. And anyone who is not looking for a job is very blessed. I have a lot of friends who are looking for jobs right now and it's, it's really tough out there. Right. So I think like, I completely agree with you. Everyone who has a job right now should be holding on to that job because I've seen a lot of, like I said, I have a lot of personal friends who, who ended up quitting their jobs or getting laid off and it's tough out there. So I do think that a lot of Amazon employees, and like you said, employees everywhere will be holding onto their jobs. And yeah, it's, it's crazy in the job market right now, for sure. I, I definitely see, I know there's a, there's a lot of turnover, but honestly, we hired a lot of people, I think in 2021, like late 2021, Amazon right. hired a lot of people. And for Stowe, for inbound specifically, especially at my site, we hired a lot of inbound employees and, Usually those people drop off a couple months later, but for my site, we, that we haven't had that problem of dropping off. Like it, I mean, not necessarily problem, but we haven't had that pe the amount of people drop off like usual. Everyone has right. stayed there. And throughout the last year, it, we have had like 200 plus stores. And that's why last year, 2022, we had VTO pretty much the entire year up until peak because there was just so many employees. So they were constantly offering VTO. And it was to the point where, it was to the point where people weren't taking the BTO anymore because they've already had enough of it and they, <laughs> they need paychecks. So they're coming back to work. And then they, I know, I'm not sure how, where you are on this, but they also started doing mandatory time off last year for some sites too. Right. So, I mean, that's yeah. what I was thinking. I was thinking we would see mandatory time off more so than layoffs. I just can't, I'm not going to lie. I can't fathom seeing I can't I can't really see it. I can't see Amazon saying we're having layoffs in the warehouse. But in the last video I posted, I posted up some quotes from Jeff. You feel me? Zell, where you at? Because I would like to get your, your your thoughts on this from Jeff himself talking about um, Amazon will go bankrupt one day and how Amazon will come to an end. And that's from Jeff. You feel me? And then he left the company, you know, like, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. So I, I'm with you. I hope we don't see it. Um, I don't think we'll see layoffs, but I think we, it, I think that whole ME, uh, what is it called? Um, MTO? MTO, mandatory time off. I, yeah. I definitely think we can see that. Look, look they say I couldn't look, do it, but I did. But I did. But I did. Turn stacks to a crib. To a crib. Yeah. Going up, going in. Going in. Let them sleep, bedtime, tuck them in. Tuck them in. <laughs> 